Does the red glowing light of the sound blaster Z annoy you? If it does, check out this video. I'm just going to show you how to uh, modify the card so the lights doesn't doesn't glow anymore. Now the card has two red LEDs, and what you need for this, you need a screwdriver. So just a, a standard Phillips screwdriver in order to open these four screws. So there's one here, another one there, and two more. So you got to open all these. Um, you need some some form of tape if you don't want to permanently damage your card you just want to cover the LEDs if the lights really annoy you and you want to get rid of them um, just need one of these and I'm going to show you how to clip the LEDs off I, I'm not going to clip them off but I'm, I'm just going to show you what you need to clip and then it's up to you to make the call whether or not you want to get rid of them permanently Okay, so here's our card with all the parts disassembled. So we've got our screws, the back plate, the cover, and this is the card in all its glory. We have two LEDs. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. Now, if you really can't stand the red glowing light, you can just get one of these. Put it on the leg and clip it off and the same thing with the other leg and you can do the same thing up here um, now it won't kill your card because it's just an LED so um, don't be afraid that it will do any damage to your card uh, the other option is if you don't want to cut it it's just getting some sticky tape and cover the LED which I'm going to show you next okay so what I'm going to try to do is to cover up the LED with some tape. Now what I recommend is because the light emits at the top from the sides and also from the bottom so you gotta wrap it around everything really. So I'm just going to show you what I'm planning to, to do. So make sure you put your tape in a way that it goes all the way uh, to the bottom and then you just wrap it around like so and that's it and then you can we can bend we can bend it back into into place and just gotta make sure that no light emits from the from the bottom so you just press it down a bit make sure that it's all everything is covered and that should take care of the LED. I'm just gonna do the second one and then we're gonna put it in the computer and have a look if it worked. And there we go, card is back in the computer. There's a faint glow coming out of this LED, um, so just pay pay more attention than I did with um, sealing up the bottom of the LED. But apart from that, it's a lot better than before. It's definitely not as as bright and as annoying as it was before. And here we are. Just turned off the lights in my room. Uh, you can see the. The blue LED of the front case, but apart from that, we can't really see any any red glowing light anymore. So I'd say that little mod has been successful. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and if the red LEDs annoy you, at least now you know what to do.